Wouldn't it be great if we could discover the technology that would allow us to deliver power to our businesses, homes, and cities, even a fast-paced 24-hour town, without depleting our natural resources? Sound like an impossible dream? Today we're going to show you that this dream is not impossible, but it's actually a reality. It's geothermal power, and it's brought to you by ORMAT, one of the most successful geothermal producers in the world. With the help of ORMAT's Paul Thompson, we'll show you how ORMAT pulls hot water from the earth to create energy to power a large city. ORMAT then returns the hot water to the earth without depleting the resource. Hi Kathleen, how are you? Hey Paul. Welcome to ORMAT's uh, geothermal facility. Hey, thanks for doing this. Here's a hard hat for the tour. Okay, we got a windy one. So this is going to do away with the bad hair day for me. Absolutely. Okay. Ready to learn about geothermal energy? Okay. Let's go. All right, what you have here is this is Old Rusty. This is our first plant that we built in 1985. And what you see here, it's kind of a part because we're working to refurbish it. But this is the heat exchanger where the hot water mixes with the working fluid that then vaporizes and turns our turbine. So this is actually where the hot water is. The working fluid is around the hot water. Absolutely, okay. and they never touch, but the working fluid gets all that heat, vaporizes and turns our turbine. Okay, it's a 22 year old facility. 22 years old. What we're gonna go see here in a little bit is the 2007 version, which is kind of newer and more robust. The technology is kind of the same. We just made it a lot better and a lot more efficient, but we're gonna go see it. Okay. You ready? So it's kind of noisy here because we're producing a lot of power. This facility right here is producing 20 megawatts. The hot water's coming in from those pipes, going into this heat exchanger where they're heating a working fluid, which vaporizes, goes through there, and turns this turbine, producing electricity that's going to all the residents in Reno. Most people think it's the water going through the no. turbine. It's not. It's the, the water heat. is heating another fluid, which then vaporizes and turns that turbine. So the water is never impacted and we can re-inject all of it back into the earth with no repercussions. Very good, good for the turbine too. Absolutely. Okay. What we have here is this is all, these two pipes bring in all the water that's used in the facility and they also bring it all out to be fully re-injected. Okay, is this hot? It is, you can touch it and uh, you'll, this one? you'll feel a little bit of warmth. Ow! All right, this is the control room for the facility. Okay. This is where we control all the 20 megawatts that we're producing from this individual plant. Um, as you can see, there's not a lot of people here. There's no it's, one here. It's almost completely <laughs> automated. Um, these are all just basic circuit breakers. The, the electricity we produce here, we use to power the whole facility. So there's no fossil fuels being used. So all the motors and everything are all electric and they're all being powered by the geothermal energy that we're producing here as well. Okay. Back here, we have the meters from our local utility. That's basically where they monitor and make sure that we're giving them what we've said in our contracts and so forth. And so that's kind of a third party independent meter to make sure that the citizens, you know, are getting what they paid for and what was approved by uh, the Public Utility Commission. Right here, this is where Homer Simpson would sit. This is the, uh, the whole control mechanism for the whole plant. And as you can see, it, it sits right here on a computer screen. Real time interface, you can get this from anywhere on the web. And theoretically, if you had a Blackberry and have internet access, you can impact how this plant is up and operating. Okay, so I have a BlackBerry and I can get on the internet with my BlackBerry. Can I do it with that? Absolutely. If I had the passcodes, I could shut you, you down this whole... You, could, you <laughs> could probably do that. <laughs> I could shut down this whole plant with my BlackBerry. And the idea of it being that if something happens to a pump and the plant needs to be shut down quickly, we don't want to have you know the plant uh, self-destruct or be spewing hot water uh, you know, out into the... you know We've got 300 degree water we're pumping up. If there's a leak, we want to be able to shut it down quickly and address the problem. It's a lot of control right there. That's it, the absolutely. Okay. So.